the second highest general in the California National Guard, has been removed from his position because he was an all-time leading shammer and skater after Ben Franklin. And I want to teach you how to sham today. Now they say that heavy is the head that wears the crown, which means the more in charge you are, the more responsibility you got. And that can weigh you down. But conversely, I have a saying, and that is, the higher the rank, the less it stank, worse than the bad. Now the shams of this general were so wide and amazing, from low level shenanigans up to high level tactical shams. I have to share a couple with you. From having subordinates drive him around to wherever he wants to go, making troops take his mama shopping, all the way to having a fighter jet taxi to scare away protesters from the base and have a super sweet spy plane hover over his house to make sure it was safe. Like his own personal ADT. Oh, shams and scams so good that he skated all the way into this old heartland. But before I tell you how a one-star general used a million dollar spy plane as his own personal home security, we're gonna hear a word from our sponsor. Goat guns. Goat guns are collectible miniature gun models and each individual model has its own working parts. Sure, you could get a plain AR-15, but why not shorten the barrel and get that thing desert coat? And while you're at it, why don't you add an ACOG and maybe a forward grip or a 50 round drum and an under barrel shotgun. It's a perfect gift for all them retired pipe hitters. You know, they say PTSD is realizing you'll never be that cool looking. But you can still relive the glory days on your desk with the RPG or 50 cal. But these things ain't just a decoration. They got moving parts like a bipod, a little carry in hand. Heck, you can even unload the magazine and play with the 50 caliber bullets that come with it and rack that action to the rear and send one home. Now, if you get a bug in your butt and you want to order one, you better make sure you use code ANGRYCOPS for 10% off. The most liked comment on the YouTubes is going to get the Barrett from me, and the most liked comment on the Facebooks is going to be getting this American AR-15. But now, let's break down some of these amazing shams that this Brigadier General of one store had in his illustrious sailing career. But tear up. I'm so proud. How monotonous is cyber awareness training? Clicking away on the same monotonous slides and quizzes for four hours, just wasting your day away. I'm sorry, Jeff. Well, General Magnum felt the same way. So he made his subordinates do his cyber awareness for him. Sitting in the same room, just clicking away for him, passing all them quizzes. Now, <laughs> normally me and Shabazz are using Quorum or Yahoo Answers in order to speed through that thing or having one of your smart soldiers write down all the correct answers as he goes through it once and pass them all to us so we can fly through. But if you're a general, why not just have one of your subordinates do it for you? Clicking and snapping away and taking the quiz while you're off doing your fantastic general things. I can only hope that that general properly compensated that young enlistment for doing his cyber awareness training for him. But your wise, that's a selfish scam and you'll get burned for that. Always take care of your fellow shamers. Now, if you get all the way to a general, what's the point of having all that rank? You can't flex that muscle a little bit, especially if you want to show off and let other people know how in charge you are. And who doesn't want to impress their mama? Well, General Magmar here, he made sure that his mama knew how much power he had and made the lower enlisted drive her around for shopping. Mm. I would make a private drive my mama around the second I make sport just to show her her little boy match it. But unfortunately for this cheer general, his mama was a bit of a bitch. Mama only shopped at Whole Foods and she took her gosh dang time so much that the lower enlisted ratted him out. Come on, general, always take care of your fellow shamers. That should be an acronym all of its own. Take care of fellow shamers. Took us to fix, I don't know. Well, think of something. Now, Mama wasn't the only one getting the chauffeur around. You see, the general was using his lower enlisted to drive him the 120 miles back and forth to dental appointments and other personal shenanigans. Getting yourself to sit in the passenger seat and relax on the several hour drive back and forth and killing off an entire duty day. Mm, that is a top tier shame if I've ever seen. And when your general got called on the carpet for it, 
His reasoning nearly gave a tear to mine. He said traveling with Shalor and Listerman was just a part about being a good white man. I mean, using the branch's values in order to better your shame, be still my heart. I can barely contain myself from this shame. Now, soldiers might know that as the battle buddy theory. Saying, hey, son, hey, sir, I can't just go to anywhere. I need to make a battle buddy. Well, this general used the same fantastic shaman system. I just got a wisdom tooth pulled. And I don't know if I can drive all the way back to home. I'm gonna need a lower enlisted to drive me. And touch a young man who might have complained about driving the general around. You're a gosh dang it you. Listening to tunes, bumping elbows with your second highest general in the entire state. That's how you grease them wheels and get promoted to E5, 6, or 7. Let that be a lesson to you, young soldiers, airmen, sailors, and marines. If you need to make a ride more than 20 minutes, you look at your senior NCO and you say, hey, I need me to travel with a battle buddy. I can't be left alone. And now you and your friend can go dibble devil across the post and do whatever you want to do for the rest of your day. You're well. Now it's the time where we get into the more expensive shames that this general could only pull off because of his fantastic and superior shaman skills at the rank that he is. High level shams require high level ranks. Now some people might say it's overkill or a waste of government resources to taxi an F-15 fighter jet in wide open view of protesters to make sure that they don't try and fuck around and come unpunished. But I think it's brilliant. Even a sham can be used in the positive. What an appropriate use of time and money. Protect the base, but also give their pilot his appropriate amount of flying hours and night hours at chat. Fantastic for training. And if that plane were to have taken off instead of just taxiing on the runway, it could have buzzed that protest as a practice of a show of force and a fantastic flyover. Two birds, one stone. Outstanding. But my favorite shame that this general has completed in his entire illustrious shame career is having a million dollar spy plane with multiple personnel inside fly over his house to make sure that the protests in the area of California that he lived weren't getting too close to his home. Using a multi-million dollar spy plane and personnel to make sure that nobody's busting into your front door trying to take your beautiful labradoodle is such a high level sham he deserves an afford. I mean, who needs a ring doorbell when you got a five million times zoom infrared scope on top of a plane that can jam radar and the budget of the entire Department of Defense? Now let that go to show you here, Shimmers. Shimming may begin when you are the lowest of ranks at the bottom of the totem pole, but the higher you go, the sweeter the shines. Now, if you want to support this shine, I think you should check out angry-cops.com. Get yourself a dirt bag private t-shirt. Ain't no sham gonna get started unless you got a pair of shades, cigarette, and a gosh dang cricket. Pick one up for yourself or give it to one of your favorite shamers. I'll see you next time, shamers. But don't forget, sham on. Sham on. A fantastic sham, General. Ah, ah, there's a dog, there's a dog hair on it. Well, think of something. Oh! Shaman? Oh, shit. His mama. Shit. Gotcha. Mmm. Never miss a beat.